Today I want to give you an update about the changes um, which are coming out of the Brexit situation. We are on our, uh, in our legal practice at Crefeuille, we are almost on a daily basis discovering the negative impact of Brexit. Uh, for example, all uh, opposition proceedings which were filed with the European Union Intellectual Property Office um, on the basis of English law, in particular the English tort of passing off, um, are being at the moment uh, rejected and dismissed by the European Union Intellectual Property Office, the EU IPO, on the grounds that um, English law is no longer applicable uh, to um, the EU IPO because um, the United Kingdom has done a Brexit. So, um, our, uh, you know, uh, weekly shopping bag as well on a more pragmatic uh, uh, standpoint has uh, gone up in price by 20 to 30 percent um, when you shop at your local supermarket. So uh, lots of people are actually in the UK are actually starting to use food bank because they can't afford going to the supermarket anymore. I'm definitely not in this situation, but what I'm saying is that from uh, around 100,000 people going to food banks around in, in, around the UK um, four or five years ago, now it's actually four million people who daily uh, go to food banks because they can't afford supermarket food. So um, another problem as well is that uh, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, um, the leaders in the European Union have decided to actually shut down uh, their borders to all um, travelers coming from third country, third countries, so countries which are outside the EU, and because of that, since the United Kingdom is no longer part of the of the European Union due to Brexit, it means that it is actually quite difficult to travel between um, London and uh, and and Paris by Eurostar because this is no longer a uh, an EU country. I haven't really delved into this because at the moment I'm staying put in London, but um, uh, it is really becoming very complex and um, stuck and rigid, you know, everything is becoming more stuck and rigid. It's a surprise for me because I thought that the uh, 2021 would be a, a time, a, a new era, a time where things would start to flow more, have more, you know, be smoother, be more fluid. Um, but actually, it's quite the opposite. I, I see that um, although things are definitely accelerating, thank God, we're no longer stuck in a rut like we were in 2020. Um, nonetheless, there are certain institutions, especially the, you know, the old way of thinking, which are, which is, which are really stuck in a rut and definitely not wanting to budge and uh, very, very, um, uh, very inflexible and rigid. And I don't think that's a very good approach. But anyway, so that's where we stand at the moment. So my recommendation about, you know, understanding the aftermaths of Brexit, which really are extremely uh, negative and, and uh, bear, you know, strong consequences. Um, I think you have to, you know, slow down relax and um, um, take it one day at a time because everybody is in the same situation facing all these terrible consequences um, due to Brexit. Um, we're hearing that Scotland is going to organise a second referendum to, uh, to, to check whether the Scots wants to actually uh, uh, do a secession from, uh, from the rest of, uh, of Great Britain. And I understand them, you know, so I really do understand them. So there seems to be a dichotomy between what is good for uh, the United Kingdom and the type of governing power which is in place in the United Kingdom, which seems to no longer really be, you know, I mean, it's never been, but it really is showing that it's definitely not switched on. And um, in, in, you know, in, in, um, um, understanding what's happening in, you know, in these times. So, um, yeah, slow down, relax, um, stay calm and carry on, as they say in the UK. And um, bear in mind that everybody's in the same dire situation. 
and keep going uh, as well as you can, as effectively and professionally as you can as a creative entrepreneur in business and um, uh, resolve one step uh, after one step of these issues um, by staying calm and composed. Bye for now.